Hello everyone, I'm Sushikant, Technical Associate for Vidamai Triple Voice Act. I'm here to demonstrate about my technical project, which is based on steganography using Python and machine learning. To begin with, cybersecurity has always become our primary concern in today's world, and the global scenario has always been in constant phase of development. To ensure cybersecurity and to combat cyber terrorism, we have many methods and tools such as cryptography, antivirus, etc. One such effective method is steganography. Well, what does it exactly mean? Steganography is the art of concealment of information. To be more specific, classified information within a file, namely carrier file, which can be in the form of an audio, a video, a text or an image file. Well, 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 many doubts might have popped up in your mind and I'm here to clear them off with a simple example. Let's go. So here's a profound example where the same image shows different numbers under different color wavelengths. That sounds like an alien invasion, doesn't it? But it's just an audio file which is used as a carrier wave here. Here we have a text file named Wikipedia being encrypted on an audio file which you've heard before. And finally, the audio is being analyzed through a spectrogram revealing the initial image. In our case, it's the Wikipedia text file. Now let's get on to some history of steganography. The first recorded uses of steganography can be traced back to 440 BC. Hysterius sent a message to his vassal Aristagoras by shaving the head of his most trusted servant, marking the message onto his scalp, then sending him on his way once his hair had regrown with the instruction. Now the main question arises. How do we detect an encrypted image or how do we distinguish between an original image and an encrypted image? Detecting physical steganography requires careful physical examination including the use of magnification, developer chemicals and ultraviolet light. It is a time consuming process with obvious resource implications even in countries that employ many people to spy on their fellow nationals. In computing, steganographically encoded package detection is called steg analysis. Steg analysis that targets a particular algorithm has much better success as it is able to key in on the anomalies that are left behind. And this can be done by using the least significant bit steganography method. It is one such technique in which least significant bit of the image is replaced with data bit. In this method, the least significant bits of some or all of the bytes inside an image is replaced with a bit of the secret message. Now let's get on to my project which is based on this method. So let's begin. This is the flowchart representation of my project. It consists of namely two files crypt.py and lsb.py. The project can be broadly classified into three processes namely hiding the data, extracting the data and finally analyzing the data using a visual representation such as a plot graph. I have done this project keeping in mind of the various operating systems present in today's world. I have considered the two cases where the operating system could be either Windows or Ubuntu. So here goes the first case that is using Windows operating system. So this is the heart of my project. This is the required code which is used to implement my idea. So firstly, I have run the code present in crypt.py file. This is used to encrypt and decrypt the input data. and then followed by lsb.py which has several functions for several purposes. Here I have imported several library functions to facilitate the utilization of modules like random and they are in turn helpful for us to create new functions like encrypt and decrypt which are used for encryption and decryption of data. Each function has been specifically designed and written in such a manner to eradicate the possibility of errors and to optimize the performance.
Now let's get on to our second case where we use Ubuntu as our operating system. Grip.py is the parent file of my project. It involves the encryption and decryption of the data which we acquire through the lsb.py. The lsb.py python file is the child file of my project. It is the front end of my program and it is used to acquire input from the user. It is used for performing several feature functions like decompose, embed, extract, assemble and analyze the data which is given by the user. So here's a visual demonstrating about how to get the required output. These are the visual representations in the form of plot graphs which indicate about the least significant bits or the probability of occupying the least significant bits in our image data. So here are the images and their respective plot graphs. The first image indicates the message file or the file which contains information. The second image is the steganographic file which contains the encrypted form of the first image. And finally, the third image is the stick analysis performed image, which is a culmination of the first image as well as the second image. The scope of my project relies on the concept of data encryption, which creates endless possibilities. It would definitely be a revolutionary breakthrough in the history of cybersecurity. And my idea can be boosted up with even more advancements in science and technology as time progresses. All the website links which redirect you to the code and other tools which are required for doing this project are mentioned in the description below so thanks for watching and if you have any doubts regarding this topic feel free to ask in the comment section below until then stay safe and enjoy learning